because it is possible that with 5% down, you could afford something and then get on the real estate roller coaster so that you can make money just on the appreciation point of view. Hey everyone, it's Lawrence back here today to talk about five reasons why you should rent instead of buy. Now on the one hand, I'm gonna be very frank with you. You really should buy if you can. I mean, it just makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of tax advantages and it appreciates like crazy, at least in the Toronto market, at least for the past 10, 20 years. But if you can't, I just wanna actually go through, there are legitimate reasons why you would rather rent instead of buy. And I just wanna go through them right now. The very first reason why is because maybe you get a low rent. There's a lot of reasons for that, but uh, because of the different tenancy laws in Ontario, it actually heavily favors the tenant instead of the landlord. And so if, for example, you ended up having a very, very low uh, market rate that you're paying on a month to month basis, it actually might make sense on paper in terms of the math that you rent instead of own because uh, you know, the landlord just can't evict you and they can't raise your rate high enough. So that's actually a legitimate reason why you should rent is because you have low rent. Number two, transitional reason. So real estate, if you owned it, is actually very, very beneficial if you held it, held and like, held it for the long term for it to appreciate. But if you're in a transitional time of your life, it may not make sense to do it because there is a lot of financial friction to move both in terms of different costs and taxes and that kind of thing to move when you sell a house and buy another house. So for instance, if you're a student and you're gonna only be here for like a year, or you know, let's just say boyfriend and girlfriend, you just moved out of the house, you wanna to move together, but you don't really know if it's going to work out, uh, these are very, very good reasons to rent instead of buy. Or even if you're going to a new city, for instance, you don't know how the job's gonna go, or you don't even know if you're gonna like the city, it does make sense to rent in the area first, figure out if you like it or not, and then once you stabilize, figure out if you're going to buy. Number three, there are some, probably some tax purposes and some tax advantages to renting instead of buying. And that one you'll have to talk to your CPA, but perhaps like maybe your corporation could go rent instead of you paying it for yourself. Maybe there's a whole bunch of different strategies, but I'm sure there's some type of tax benefits you could do. For most people, this wouldn't really apply. But I, again, I am going through the different reasons why uh, renting does make more sense than buying. But again, buying probably does make more sense. Number four. Uh, here we're talking about just owning a better house. Because of cash flow purposes, it is very, very possible that for the amount of money that you could pay in a month to month basis, you could like afford a much bigger and better house than if you were to buy it yourself. So I do have, for example, one of my clients who is thinking about buying, they can only really afford maybe a one or two bedroom place, but they have a big family and they're renting a place where it has three bedrooms. So maybe it doesn't make sense for now for them to buy because they actually do need the space, but it's another consideration. If you're talking from the pure money point of view, owning it and letting it appreciate makes more money, but for the short term fact that they actually need the space, maybe renting makes more sense. And lastly, the fifth reason is that uh, maybe as an asset class, uh, you don't like the idea of owning real estate. And I know it might sound funny, but I, knew, no, I do know of somebody who's a multimillionaire that rents a place and has been renting for the past 20 years. And all of the money is actually in different assets, either in real estate in a different geographical location or in things like stocks. So maybe you just don't like the idea of having a primary residence that's huge and you just want to put your money elsewhere. Plus, if you have a cheap rent, then maybe it just makes sense to rent. And so these are five reasons why, uh, from a logical or financial point of view, it does make sense to rent. And of course, there are other reasons why you would have to rent instead of buy. For instance, you don't have the savings, or maybe your credit score is too low, or maybe you can't uh, apply and you can't really get approved for a mortgage. So these are actually real reasons why you can't, you have to, like you're forced to rent instead of buying. But then again, if you haven't tried, you don't know. So the other thing I do encourage you to do is if you think you might be borderline or you know, maybe give it a whirl, it's no harm in talking to either a mortgage professional or a real estate agent such as myself so that we can help you to see if your numbers qualify. Because it is possible that with 5% down, you could afford something and then get on the real estate roller coaster so that you can make money just on the appreciation point of view. If you have any questions about real estate or about renting, Please give me a call anytime, 416-276-4895. Talk to you soon. Bye.